All right. Good Friday morning to you. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Got the old chicory coffee going. We're in good shape this morning. So, something a little bit different today. I don't even know if it's going to work, and if it really doesn't work, you're not even going to see this anyway. So, hopefully it'll work at least a little bit. Uh, for several years, I've had one of these. What is that, you say? Well, it's a good question, I say. This is a uh, Durham duplex and it's uh as you can see it's kind of a straight razor shavette type thing but it's got the the comb on the guard which is uh very very interesting looking here uh this particular one has the wood handle and it says on the handle uh not to be sold this was a uh, salesman demonstrator i was told and uh that makes sense with it saying that it's it's not to be not to be sold so the other day i uh sent a handle one of the uh, good old bake light handles here to a gentleman that had a head but he didn't have the right handle so in response to that being fine people that the shaving community is he sent me some persona blades and these are the modern version of the durham duplex blades they still make them they use them for carpet cutters and things so it's an industrial blade so sometimes you can get industrial blades and they'll shave sometimes they don't shave at all sometimes they shave but they're rough and uh, he said these blades were rough, but I, I think he was able to get a shave. Now he was using, they made one that looked like a big uh, double-edged razor. And I actually have one of those that I probably should have brought in the show, but uh, it's buried in a box somewhere, so I won't have it today. But anyway, and that's what he was using. So I'm going to try it in the old straight razor version here and see what we can. Now I have a new old stock pack of the Durham blades here that came with some other stuff that I had gotten at one time. And... Uh, I don't know what the blades look like in there, but I may eventually pull one of those out and see if, because uh, sometimes the, even with the vintage blades, sometimes they're still, you can get a shave out of them. It may not be as smooth or as comfortable as a, as a modern blade is because the blades have been sitting around a while, but uh, sometimes you can get a shave. So anyway, that's going to be the razor today. We're going to give it a go. Uh, I still have some of a sample of, this is Sterling Soap, Ozark Mountain. Very, very, very nice scented soap. Uh, I have some of it, so we're going to use that. We're going to finish up with the Aqua Velvet Musk, just because it's really nice stuff, and that's what we're going to use today. And for a brush, I'm still breaking in my newest uh, Renot that I did. This is an Ever Ready 650 uh, Papa Bravo PB, which would have been a pure badger to start with, and I put a Virginia Sheen. Uh, finest badger knot in it and I've been really happy with that knot so far and this will be the second shave on it and uh, we're going to see how it does and I expect it will do just fine so that's going to be today's uh, gathering of equipment hardware software and uh, you know what's the worst that can happen jeez so before I do anything I do want to check real quick you'll indulge me and see uh, that everything looks like it's uh, lined up good and it does everything it's got the tabs that go through and they kind of slide and lock it on the back of the on the back of the razor here they got the little finger tab where you can use it to make sure everything slides in so you don't have to have your hand around the blade and uh, everything looks looks pretty good there all I know to do is use it like a uh, use it like a straight razor and see uh i wonder if it's supposed to uh see i wonder if it's supposed to be where the guard is it's got to be where the guard is is on your face but then again that would be my thinking so we'll we'll try that to start with see how it does why not you know i'm down here in south louisiana and uh, they have a saying down here that goes like this uh, hold my beard watch this so hold my beer and watch this. Here we go. All righty. Shake a brush out. And get this little ladder. Neat thing about it is the Sterling soap won't have any problems at all lathering up. This is a really good quality soap. Everybody, you know, I'm starting to recommend Sterling when people ask me, where do you, you know, I want to buy some, you know, if you want to buy an artesian soap, artisan soap, I think artesian is actually a water well we had back on. But anyway, an artisan soap, uh, Sterling soaps are, are really good too. Uh, 
if you like a heavily scented soap, sterling soaps are really good. They make a uh, mutton fat soaps, the mutton, and the mutton stuff is really good. They have one they call electric sheep that I've used before. It's kind of a citronella type scent on steroids. Keeps the skeeters away. No, I don't know if it really keeps the skeeters away, but that's just a joke. But anyway, it's a good soap. And uh, I do recommend them. They've got one of the better of the, uh, I don't know if anybody's making an Old Spice dupe soap much these days, but Sterling does. And it's actually, a, it's a Sterling Spice is actually a really good knockoff on Old Spice. And uh, I really like to use it. But anyway, here we go. Now, we don't have a real heavy growth today. I just need to clean up for some stuff I need to go do or I need to look presentable. So I needed to shave this morning. So it's just a day's growth. Shouldn't be hard to knock off anyway. If the blades will hold up and do much of anything, we should be able to make it work. I've shaved with uh, some single edge blades before that were just marginal but even though the shave feels a little rough they end up giving a really good shave so i'm thinking and i don't really i'm trying not to have a preconceived notion here as i go into this i try to kind of have an open mind but i'm thinking that's what we're going to get here so because we're using a open blade we'll thin our uh We'll thin our lather down just a little bit. It'll still be good and slick. We'll just get it a little thinner. And I don't know that that matters a whole lot. It's just something I've always liked to do when I shave with an open blade. So here we go. The, uh, let's see, how are we going to do it? All right, well, you know, we're going to do it this way. No, I don't know. No. We're going to do it this way. So that the comb is on the inside, and I guess when we change over to go to the other side of the face we'll change it over this way and go to my bad let's start over on this side of the face i don't usually do that but we'll start with the back end because it's fuzzy is right-handed i can't really do anything much left-handed so i shave and do everything else with my right hand and that leads to some really funky looking moves up around the chin and under here and trying to get over here and i realize it does and y'all probably get a laugh out of it but that's okay i don't mind so let's see what happens with the old durham duplex well, first thing I notice is that's not going to work at all. So it's got to be turned around the other way, which makes sense. And what are we going to have? Well, this is pretty much what I predicted. It's a um, rough, bit of a rough shave. It's not as smooth, but it's shaving very close. Actually, it's not as rough as I thought it would be, if it's true for knowing about the matter. It's uh, definitely got some blade feel, of course, even though it's got the, the comb on it. You know what, that doesn't feel all that rough at all now that I'm getting into it a little bit. I'm going to have to change my attitude a little bit, I think. Because what I think I'm going to come up with before it's over with, if we can get this good old... Is that that's really not that rough a shave, and it seems to be shaving pretty close. So let's go ahead and see what we end up with. One thing that's a little bit different from this than using uh, is I got to keep figuring out how I'm going to hold it to get the uh, passes that I need. Now, skin stretching. I've always talked about it. You can pull your jawline up. This would be a prime example of why you would do that. You get your jawline up. It's on a flatter surface. And you can get the razor down there on it. That is a prime example of why we do that. All right. Back over on this side. A little backhanded here. A nice wide blade. Good 
good skin stretching. That's a good habit to have, even if you're not using uh, open blades. Now I missed the angle completely. You can see I missed it because I got those little tracks from the comb in there. Got it that time though. Um, what was I talking about? Skin stretching. So even let me get under this chin here. I'll be right back with you. Oftentimes, if I'm gonna get a uh, if I'm going to end up with some kind of a nick, a lot of times it's going to come right under that chin. But skin stretching is a good habit to get into, even if you're not using an open blade, uh, simply because it just, it'll help with irritation. If you're having problems with uh, picking up a lot of irritation from your shaves, so the skin stretching would definitely uh, usually help out with that, in my opinion. we want to turn it over now let's see if we can come down here yeah we can sure we can get into it the skin stretching gives you a little little bit better area to use uh, helps smooth out the shades and it help cut down on irritation and everything that's my opinion anyway. Now a lot of times I don't rinse between the first and second pass. We're going to do a rinse here. And I generally only do two passes with a uh, open blade anyway. So we're going to take a look at the shave we've gotten so far. No blood you'll notice. I think that's always a really good thing. And we'll see what we've got. So we got good reduction. It feels pretty good. Still some rough spots but hopefully we'll clean some of that up here on the second run and uh, everything will be really good. So again, we're going to put a little more water than we normally would, especially on the second pass. And it's not to say we can't do a third touch-up pass if we need to. I don't think I have any problems with that. But maybe we won't need to. So on my second pass, I try to do a little bit different direction or maybe do a little bit of a sickle in motion or something like that so let's see we're going to do it this way we're going to keep that blade angle up and then we're going to come up here we're going to kind of we're going to kind of uh see if we can feel our way in here and kind of come down and across a little bit oh, yeah. Now that's getting into across the grain territory coming across there and I normally don't like doing across the grain so we're going to hold up a little bit there and go back up here. We're going to come down across this cheek with some good skin stretching all the way down to the chin and come back up come across here with some good stretching do a little rinsey thing here and then we're going to come under the chin and we'll try to do a little bit of a, just where I can hold on to it. There we go. We'll come back under here at a little bit of an across angle. This is a little bit harder, I've noticed, to keep an angle as with a regular uh, shave head or, or open blade, but it's not impossible. Again, I've, I've shaved with a lot of different stuff, and I've said this before. People probably get tired of hearing it, but when you when you work on your uh, on your techniques, With good solid technique, you can generally pick up whatever shaving tool you want to use and whatever blade holder you want. That's so all this is, is a blade holder. And you can pick up whichever one comes along and you can get a shave out of it. And that's what's happening here. Now, I have officially changed my mind on the quality of the blade here. 
and the quality of the shade. My first thought was that it was going to be extremely rough. It's not. I'm actually uh, quite enjoying this, the truth or not about the matter. I'll have to go look up and see when they made these, because I don't remember right off the top of my head, but uh, it ain't been any time recently. And we're going to kind of try to do a, uh, let's see, what, what do we want to do under here? We'll, we'll kind of try to come across at an angle like this, under the ear, and clean it up. And then do an across like this as we go down. Not getting it sharp enough to... Uh, or, or make it an against the grain or anything, just come down and get a good little angle across. You know, that is actually not a bad shave at all. Uh-huh. Well, I'm trying to shave with the wrong side of the blade again. That is one thing about the Durham that I didn't know to start with, and I know now is you really only shave with one side. The, the flat side here. You've got the comb, but you're really shaving with this side, and you have to, that's why it's made to where you can bend it back and forth either way and, and get it, and it works out pretty good. So let's do another quick rinse here. See what we got. I see I got my, uh, I'm not sure, uh, got my little weeper there on my chin because I tried to get down in that little divot. I think I talked about that the other day. Not a not a huge deal at all. All right, let's do a little drying thing real quick here. And see what we got. So what we came up with, no, oh, that's nice and smooth. Cheeks are nice and smooth. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, two passes, my normal is going to work just great. And everything's fine. So hey, that just goes to show you that sometimes things can surprise you. I really thought we were going to have a rough shave. I thought it might be a good shave. I thought it was going to be a rough shave. But what we came out with was a really nice shave. Really nice. There's absolutely nothing in the world wrong. You can't get any smoother than that right there. Boy, I tell you, I wish you could feel that. Matter of fact, that right there deserves a bucket of toad frogs if uh, you're familiar with toast to know what that is. So Terry, my buddy, I appreciate you. That's all right right there. And he sent me several blades. So next we'll try the uh, double edge. And then, uh, you know, now I know I've got the, the Durham that I can use. I don't see a lot of people putting those in the uh, shave of the day threads. And I'm going to throw mine in. And just rattle the bucket. I like doing that anyway. So I'm going to finish up my coffee. i got to get dressed. i got some errands to run. And... Um, We'll see what's going on on a cloudy day in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I hope where you are, everything's going good. Come over and see us at Toast. Now, this particular shave won't go have anything to do with Toast because this is an unmentionable. Period. There's no doubt that's an unmentionable. So this shave will be over at uh, the Shave Den. I'll post some over there about it just to say, hey, I shaved with a Durham duplex. What did you do today? But uh, come see us over at Toast, OriginalSafety2.com. If you want to talk about, uh, you know, straight razors, shavettes, double-edged razors, all that kind of stuff, cart razors, although why anybody would want a cart I don't, I shouldn't even mention that. It just hurts my feelings. Go to the Shave Den, ShaveDen.com. There's a great bunch of people over there, and they talk about everything. There is an injector and uh, single-edge uh, thread over there that's really, really good. A lot of knowledgeable people in there. But come see us at Toast if you want to do single-edge and injector shaving. That's all we do, all SE, all the time. We'll see you. Happy shaves. Have a great day.